Today I'd like to show you a demonstration that involves relative velocities and often surprises physics students. Let's say that an astronaut was traveling across the moon's surface at a steady speed in a lunar rover. He's kind of bored, so he decided he'd take his bow and arrow and shoot it straight up. This happens every day, doesn't it? Anyway, where would the arrow land? Let's find out. Imagine this is our lunar rover. And this is the astronaut. And this is the arrow being shot straight into the, into the straight up. Now what we'll do is give the rover a bit of a velocity at a steady speed and pull the string shooting the arrow straight up in the air. As you can see, the arrow would land right on top of the astronaut. To understand, we have to separate the vertical velocity from the horizontal velocity. Vertically, the moment the arrow is shot from the bow, it would start to accelerate down. It would go up, 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 stop, and come back down at the same acceleration. It would come down at exactly the same speed that it went up. Horizontally, the arrow would move at the same horizontal velocity as the rover. And since there's no friction on the moon, it would continue to move horizontally at a steady speed, the same speed as the rover. In a certain time, the time it takes to go up and come down, the arrow would travel horizontally a certain distance. And in fact, that distance would be exactly the same as the rover's distance. The outcome, the arrow would land right on top of the astronaut at exactly the same speed it was shot, but since there's no air resistance, upside down, tail first. Ouch.